COVID-19 Response Minister Chris Hipkins called an unscheduled press conference this evening to announce that the northern part of Northland will move to Level 3 from 11.59pm tonight until at least Monday night. Despite extensive case interviews and contact tracing over the last 24 to 48 hours, uh, our contact tracing teams have not been able to find an epidemiological or person-to-person -person link with any other cases in Northland. Furthermore, these two cases are based in Taipa in the far north, so are geographically quite separate from the other Northland cases, which are centred around Kaipara, Kaikohi, uh, and have locations of interest in Whangarei, Kaiwaka and Wellsford. The two new cases have not been near any of those locations, uh, nor come into contact with any of the other cases in the Northland outbreak, so it's unclear at this point how they could have possibly picked up the virus. This means that there is a strong possibility that there is one or more missing links in the chain of transmission, and that means that there could be undetected community transmission occurring right now in Northland. To minimise disruption, the boundary would run through the Hokianga Harbour across to Kaio. The alert level changes are necessary due to the region's low vaccination levels. With only 79% having had their first dose, the risk of an outbreak in Northland is much greater. Earlier, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern was forced to abandon a press conference in Northland after interruptions from a female protester and an American man claiming to be a journalist became too much. Well, I'm a professional. Can I ask you? Can I ask you what the infection fatality rate for COVID is? Name. What is the woman who's now? What's her name? All of Ngapuhi does not. Um, agree with this. We will never see our sovereignty. Ardern was in Kawakawa to support the region's vaccination efforts. Ardern and Māori Crown Relations Minister Calvin Davis, who announced an extra $23.3 million for eight Māori organisations and iwi aimed at boosting Māori vaccination rates through the new Māori Communities COVID-19 Fund, reconvened inside where they were able to continue the conference. There were 126 cases of COVID-19 in the community today, 107 in Auckland, 18 in Waikato and one in Northland. A total of 49 people are in hospital, down four from yesterday, with three patients currently in ICU. 59 of today's cases remain unlinked to the current outbreak. There were no new cases in Canterbury, but more wastewater sample results are expected tomorrow after samples last week tested positive. Meanwhile, in Auckland, two further staff members at Edmonton Meadows Care Home have now tested positive. The total number of active cases linked to the home is now 12, and a mobile testing unit was set up at the facility. Two residents continue to receive care at North Shore Hospital and the cause of the cluster remains unknown. Two prominent COVID-19 modelers and advisers spoke to media earlier today, expressing their concerns following the Prime Minister's announcement yesterday that would see restrictions ease in the Waikato and Auckland. Epidemiologist Professor Michael Baker told TVNZ's breakfast programme he was concerned with any relaxation of the rules given the number of community cases were still rising steadily in Auckland. And Professor Sean Hendy made the grim prediction that we would likely have more than 300 cases a day by December.